Okay, it is the heart of Baltimore's tourism industry, but a visit to the Inner Harbor turned into a nightmare for a family of 10. They say they were swarmed and beaten by a large group of teenagers. WJZ is live at the Inner Harbor. Alex Dimitrik has what the victims and the police are saying. Alex? Well, Denise, the victims uh, of this attack do not want to be identified, but they do want their story to be heard. The Inner Harbor was built to draw crowds, but not one that attacked a family visiting from New Jersey who told their story to WJZ off camera. They swarmed us. They hit my husband in the head. They knocked him out. And then it was just complete bedlam. It happened the same day the Baltimore Marathon was run on Saturday, October 21st. That brought a big crowd to the harbor Saturday night. The 10 family members, from grandparents to grandkids, were walking by the H&M store when they were suddenly overwhelmed by a larger group of teens. They punched my nephew in the face, knocked him to the floor. My sister went to protect her son, and they were kicking her. I was kneeling with my husband screaming, somebody help us, why is nobody helping us? It's always groups of them and someone in that group who starts it. And that's what we saw in this situation. Yeah. Last March downtown, a group followed a man hurling insults, which quickly escalated into a physical assault and a rapid scattering by the attackers. The same technique used last week when two bicyclists were robbed and beaten by a group. The disrespect from some of these juveniles is just absolutely unbelievable and stunning. Maybe if there was police on foot, those kids would have never been congregating there looking for a fight. You know, looking to hit somebody. Well, the cops were all over the place. Again, they probably got there relatively quickly. But we can't have cops on every single corner and every single block of the city. Police are reviewing surveillance video of the attack. The victims can't stop seeing it. I can't sleep at night seeing what happened over and over in my head. Seeing my family attacked. Well, two family members suffered concussions in that attack. Others came over with scrapes and bruises and a vow never to return to the Inner Harbor. Denise, back to you. All right, thank you very much, Alex. Police at this time do not have any suspects.